Okay, well, welcome back, everyone. My name is Dylan, and this is Paige. We're an NC Cooperative Extension Agents, and this is Farm Day Adventures, the potato edition. And in this edition, Paige is going to do an experiment for us. Yeah. So um, we encourage you to check out part A of the potato edition, um, where we kind of talked about the basics of NC potatoes and then how to plant your own. So if you have that one from last time, it's just a small potato. It's um, starting to sprout, but if it's not starting to sprout, that's okay too. The experiment will still work. Um, you'll just need a shoe box, some cardboard pieces, and then um, you'll, you'll also need the lid to it. So make sure that you have that as well. Um, and so for this experiment, what we're really going to be doing is seeing how plants follow light and how plants need light to conduct photosynthesis, which is how they make energy to continue to grow. So to do that, you're going to make a hole at the top of your box. Um, you're gonna cut out several pieces of cardboard and I need to, uh, secure this with tape to make sure it stays properly. You're going to put your potato that you have planted at the bottom of the box and then you're going to leave this in a place when you cover it. This hole at the top, light can be coming through that and then you're going to check on it every few days to see how your plant is growing and it could take a couple of weeks but as you can see in this image up above here, um, we want to see how that plant continues up and tries to find the light. Plants are extremely resilient and they are going to survive the best that they can. And this is an awesome example of that and a fun way you can use just some scraps around your house and then have a potato plant growing in the next few weeks. Okay, well, we hope that you enjoyed uh, this potato edition video. Um, just some questions to go over. So just wanted to make sure that you learned that potatoes, um, how they respond to light. We also have some research for you to do. So I have some true or false questions here. Um, so potatoes are 80% water, true or false. And then also potatoes were the first vegetable ever to be grown in space, true or false. So that's just something for you to do on your own time um, just to, to look up some more about potatoes. Yeah, so finally, we hope that you learned a little bit about potato pro production in North Carolina, and then we hope that you are able to grow your own potato and actually conduct that experiment. If you do, we would love to see photos. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, in the coming weeks, we'll be doing other crops grown in North Carolina, so we hope to see you then. Thank you. Bye.